Hi everyone, welcome to TechLix. This video is part of a series which charts our attempt to make a smart boy which takes measurements about the sea in just three weeks. In this video, we'll be showing you how to get GPS data, store it on an SD card, and send it somewhere using radio. For this build, you will need a GPS module, an SD card, an SD card module, two radios, and two Arduinos. The Smart Boy will make sensor measurements as it sits in the sea, including GPS location and date time. Take a look at the schematic, which shows how we set up the circuit. The GPS module communicates via serial connection, so we're using the Arduino software serial library, as well as the tiny GPS library, to communicate with it. These libraries make everything super simple. Let's take you through the code. So we include tiny GPS and software serial libraries, create an instance of a tiny GPS, and an instance of software serial with pin 4 as TX and pin 3 as RX. Then we create a structure to store the data in. You don't have to do this, but it will make things easier when you start sending data. In the setup, we set the serial monitor and the GPS software serial rates. In the loop, we check if there is any data on the software serial and then read it using the GPS library. We then put our GPS data into our data structure in the getInfo function. Then we print our results out and open the serial monitor. Whoop whoop. The boy is in the sea taking measurements, but we want to be able to see the data it collects without getting our feet wet or bringing it ashore. To get the measurements remotely, we're using a radio module connected to an Arduino on both sides of the communication. In future, we will replace the receiver side Arduino with a Raspberry Pi. The radio works similarly with both these interfaces, so swapping them over is pretty straightforward. The radio module communicates using SPI, which requires a few more connections than I2C, but it's still really easy to use because of the NRF24 library. Using the GPS module for sensor measurements, we'll transmit its data from one Arduino to the other. We're going to connect up the GPS and radio module to the Arduino and on the other side, an Arduino with the radio module. Starting with the transmitter side, include the SPI, NRF24L01 and RF24 libraries, as well as the tiny GPS and software serial. Create an instance of the tiny GPS and software serial. Then we create an instance of RF24 and choose our SPI channel enable as pin 8 and our chip select as pin 7. Then we again create our data structure for storing the GPS data. In the setup function, we start the serial connection and the software serial for the GPS. Then start the radio. Setting our writing pipe and channel. We want max distance, so we set our PA level to max and our data rate to the lowest. We stop listening because we only want to transmit and power up. Then in the loop, we check for GPS data and put it on our data structure using the get info function. And this is where the nice bit is we can just reference our data structure and send the whole thing in one line. Now on the receiver side. We set the radio up in much the same way, as well as our data structure. But in the setup function, we set the address as our reading pipe and we start listening. Then in the loop, we check if there is radio data available and if so, we read it into our data structure and print it out. So if you have both transmitter and receiver running and open your receiver serial monitor, we should see the data coming in. 
opens. Yeah. The radio module is pretty reliable, but sometimes you need a contingency fan in case there's a power cut on the receiver side or if the radio moves out of range. Our contingency plan is an SD card module, which allows us to store the data we collect. The quantity of data being collected isn't that large, so even a small SD card will be able to easily store a day's worth of data. The SD card module also uses SPI. We'll show you how to store the GPS measurements on the SD card and then show you the code for how we did both. Include SPI and SD libraries for the SD card. Tiny GPS and software serial library for the GPS module. Create an instance of a GPS and software serial. Create the struct to contain the GPS data. In the setup, we start our serial monitor and the software serial for the GPS. Then start the SD card connection and open a CSV file and write our headers for the measurements we're taking into it. Then we close the file and move on to the loop. In the loop, we first check for GPS data and then if there is some, we first call get info, which looks at the information in the GPS instance and puts it into our struct. Then we print the results to the serial monitor. Then we save the information. If we look at the save info function, we see it just opens that same CSV file and writes the GPS data from our struct onto the file and then closes. Include SPI and NRF24 libraries for the radio. And then the tiny GPS and software serial libraries for the GPS module and then the SD card library. Create an instance of GPS, software serial and radio. Create our data struct to store the GPS data. In the setup, we start the serial monitor and the software serial. Then we set up the radio as before. Then the SD card and write the headers to the CSV file. In the loop section, we check for GPS data, and if there is some, we put the data into our struct using the getInfo function, which checks in the GPS instance if the data is there and puts it into the struct. Then we send the data using the sendInfo, which we simplify just send the data struct. Then we save the information by writing it to the CSV file. On the receiver side, we include the libraries necessary for the radio. Create an instance of the radio. Create the data struct. Then in the setup, we start the serial and then the radio. In the loop, we check for radio data and if it's there, we put it in our data struct and print it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and joining us in our journey to making a smart boy. Tune in for the next episode where we show you how we powered the system. Thanks for watching.